Hi, my name is Chester Patterson, and I, like most Americans, are faced with debt. Uh, my debt primarily consists of medical bills, such as uh, ambulance bills that uh, um, the state was supposed to pay because I'm on Medi-Cal. And for some reason, they never have paid for it. And uh, I'm ashamed and appalled. And, you know, no one likes having debt. But, uh, you know, it's something that is uh, sometimes unavoidable. And um, as far as... Uh, Discussing one's debt with someone you, that you're not necessarily dating, but trying to date, it's really none of their business. Um, I dated the same woman for 20 years, and I rarely discuss my debt with her. I mean, it's, it's something that... You just don't discuss with someone you're dating. I mean, now, if you're married to someone, then, you know, obviously you have to discuss your debt. And, uh, so, you know, I, I just don't, you know, discuss my financial, uh, problems with, uh, someone I'm trying to date or dating. And, uh, but, you know, if you choose to disclose such type of things, if, I mean, someone's that nosy, I, I wouldn't personally date a person that cares about my debt. I mean, as long as I can pay my, you know, fair share, you know, if you're going to date, you know, if a man takes a woman on a date, he should be paying. Now, some people like to go Dutch treat. You know, she pays her, her pay for her meals or whatever, and you pay for your meals. Uh, which is something that you should do if you're like on your first date or on your second date, rather. Uh, if something, if you're continuously seeing someone it depends on who just makes the decision to go on a date and where you decide to go you know if someone I'm dating calls me and says hey you want to go to the movies I'll say okay yeah sure and I'm being being a gentleman I wouldn't expect her to pay but you know some people do and um, I wouldn't disagree, I mean, but it's just not the way I was raised. You know, I was always raised to, you know, hold the door open for a woman and pay for the date, the dinner or whatever. I mean, it's, it's not like you're going to Red Lobster every day or something, you know, something like that. You only do on like Valentine's Day or her birthday. Now, if it's my birthday, the woman should pay for my meal because it's my birthday. I mean, it's only a once a year thing. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, well, that's, uh, that's basically the bulk of my debt. I do have, you know, like most Americans, one or two credit card, you know, bills that uh, I neglect to pay. Mostly because the interest rate they, they charge is, is ridiculous. But you know, if you if you can't 
pay for something, you shouldn't use it. And which is why I don't have credit cards anymore. I mean, if I don't have the money to do to get something, if I see something I want to buy, I pay cash. But you know, in, in, in the 20th century, in the 21st century, definitely there probably won't be paper money. So, you know, you still have the uh, debit cards, which is what I use. Primarily, I use uh, disposable debit cards, you know, especially if I'm making a purchase online. Because, you know, you can't trust anybody these days. You might buy something online and you know, six months down the road, the, the person <clears throat> that uh, does the billing might say, oh, I can use this person's card to buy something. And they nine times out of ten, they won't remember making that purchase. So they, they won't dispute it. And unfortunately, that's just the way America, that's just the way the world run, works these days. And uh, that's about it. I'm Chester Patterson, and that's my story. What's yours?